Greetings from Cersei, and uh, man, I cannot tell you how much we wish everybody was right here with us. We're not, and uh, that's just not an option for 2020, so here we are doing this from a distance. Wanted to uh, answer a couple of questions that have been coming our way, uh, just so we all can be on the same page as we move forward in the next couple of days, that I think is going to be great. I'm pretty excited. I'm excited about the different places by which people are going to be watching and engaging Uplift this year. We've never been here before. We all know that. But I think we can make it still something pretty fantastic. And uh, you being a part of that is an important piece of the puzzle. One question that we've had from a number of different folks has to do with the service projects and what will that look like. So it's pretty simple. On Friday afternoon and Saturday afternoon, we're going to put a challenge in front of you in service. We're going to tell you a story. We're going to give you an opportunity to participate. And you can do that whether you're at home all by yourself, you'll be able to participate. If you're with a group of friends, you'll be able to participate. If you're at your church, you'll be able to participate. Some churches are going to not join us in that time, and they're going to do their own service project. They figure those things out, which is great with us. We just want to know that on Friday afternoon and Saturday afternoon, you're doing something, and that something is going to be an opportunity to provide hope to others in a really uncertain time in which we live. It's not complicated. It's not going to be hard. You probably do want to have around you some pen and paper, maybe some markers and some crayons for some of what's going to be given to you as a possibility for what you're going to do. There's actually going to be options. And so you can look at that and decide, hey, I want to do this, but I don't want to do that. That's great. In fact, for Uplift 2020, that's always an option. There are going to be things that are given each morning, each afternoon, and each evening. Some of it you might want to be a part of. Some of it you might say, no thanks, not for me. That's great. Uh, there's nothing on our end that's keeping tabs on who does what. No, we just want to make it available for your participation. And so as far as the service project goes, again, they're not going to be complicated. They're not going to be hard. They're going to be about having an opportunity to encourage and invest into some other people, even if you have to do that from a distance because you're just at home. We just wanted to give you that opportunity. But if you're with one of those churches and you guys are going to do your own service projects in the afternoon, awesome. Uh, we love that idea as well. Other question that we have received from a number of different people is, I can't be there live at this time. Will I be able to get the information? Can I participate later? And the answer is yes. Uh, once it is going to be there and available, that's going to happen on the times that are on the schedule. You can go to upliftonline.com backslash schedule and see exactly when things will go up, but then we'll leave them there. So if you have the access, <coughs> excuse me, that's not a good sign. Uh, if you have the access to get into Uplift Online, then you're going to have the access to that um, for a couple of weeks. Uh, we're not going to leave it up there forever but it will be for the next couple of weeks, and so you can see that at any time. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to email us or to give us a phone call. We are here. We got a great team who are working hard to make sure we give you all that we can in this interesting time, Uplift 2020.